Hey everybody and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis And I'm Tavis, I know it's been a while But I'm on a mission I'm on a mission to get a record that I used to own But I don't have anymore Well, everyone, on this cloudy day, I have finally arrived at one of my favorite, one of my many favorite record stores. This happens to be in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and here it is. Hey there, everybody. I'm back from the record store, River Valley Records and Collectibles. I love that place. It's a very small record store, and it's located in this boutique with other boutiques around it. But my dear friend, um, Brandon, he is awesome, and he always lets me know what he has there. So the record that I did get was The Spinners. This album from 1973 is such a classic and Philippe Wynn I mean when he starts singing it's like he takes you to church and if you know this record comment below and let me know of course it has the great songs uh, one of a kind love affair um, I'll be around now that is a classic. I'll be around. The music is written by Tom Bell, a lot of the music, Tom Bell and Linda Creed. And um, they just had it going on back in, 1970, in the 70s. This and Happiness is Being with the Spinners is, are two of my favorite Spinners albums. But if you don't have this, I highly recommend it. I hope you can hear me and see me well. It's kind of windy here where I am right now. But uh, could it be I'm falling in love? Ooh! Could it be I'm falling in love with you, baby? What a great album, y'all. So all this new music that we hate, I mean, okay, I'm the person who feels like the music of today is just not as good as the music from the past. I'm not the only one who feels that way. I'm not the only generation who feels that way or who has ever felt that way. But I think we have enough music in the past that we can still love and listen to and cherish and still learn about. There are people that I'm still learning about as a music vinyl collector that I never knew. And let me show you one. There's a great soundtrack called Roots from Quincy Jones. And I spoke about this earlier in another video. And there's a lady by the name of Letta Mbulu. I didn't know that she was an actual artist or a soloist from Africa. And I hope I'm not mistaken. But I was listening to Roots, the soundtrack. There's a great song that she does on there called um, Ole Waje Wo. And um, her voice is just magnificent. I said, does she have any other music? Sure enough, she has countless loads of records that she had released. And when she did Roots, she released this album as well. Uh, 
This is a very, very special record. It's called There's Music in the Air. And it still has the plastic on there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic off. I'm not a plastic lover. So I'm going to take the plastic off. This is a beautiful record. The first song is called Music Man. It's an upbeat African song. Here come, here come, here come, here come, here come, here come. The music man. He plays the guitar. Y'all got to listen to it. You will just, you find your head just bopping to it. And people actually get married to her song, There's Music in the Air. Beautiful, slow ballad. Lovely, lovely. I highly recommend this album. It came out in 78 or 79. Let me make sure. I got this from um, Discogs, 1976. Pristine, pristine. It is such a beautiful album. The seller is so magnificent. And Quincy Jones gives a, uh, some liner notes in here. He says this, he says, there's a root lady projecting sophistication and warmth which stirs hope for attaining pure love, beauty, and unity in the world. Let us music is simply too beautiful to miss. And he knew that when he had her sing on his root soundtrack. What an album. What an album. Okay? So I've showed you the spinners. I've showed you Letta. Let's go to... One of my favorite OJ's albums, Family Reunion. Y'all, 1975, CBS Records. First, first of all, the painting, the artwork is just magnificent. Of course, this is the inside with them and their 70s garb. We have William Powell, Eddie Levert, Walter. I think their two, their last tour recently ended. Wow, wow. But still, they made their mark in music. The OJs, one of my favorite songs, um, or many songs on here, are um, Living for the Weekend, Stairway to Heaven, I Love Music, I love music. There's a great TikTok video of a guy, and I think I'm going to share it. I'm going to find it, and, and hopefully I can put it in this movie, in this video. There's a guy who is selling records, and a woman comes up, and she finds this album. And sure enough, the person who painted this album cover was her relative. And his name is Ed Lee. It says it here. Let's find it. Ed Lee. Design Ed Lee. And she mentions that some of these people or some of these characters in this uh, painting are her relatives. And she was so glad to have found the album again. And hopefully I can find that TikTok and show you right now. Watch this. Looking for this album. And this is such a beautiful, pristine copy. It makes me so happy. My, um, my uncle, Edwin, designed this album cover. And I've been trying to find it because I think that it includes portraits of my relatives. Oh, awesome. My aunt, my cousin, um, my cousin, and I think, I, my guess is that this is my uncle's father, but I'm not sure. He's Chinese American, Yeah. born in a little town on the Delta, and he was in charge of art directing all of the Philadelphia um, International Records oh, album wow. covers. You can see it right here. Let's see, does it have it here? Uh, Ed Lee. Wow, designed by Ed Lee. Yeah, right. So. But this one is especially precious. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited to meet That's you. That's awesome. You just made my day. Thank you. Isn't that great? The OJ's Family Reunion. What an album. Now we have, I had to get this. Everyone, the debut record of the stylistics. Hey, 
get you by golly wow you're the one that i've been waiting for forever and um you are everything and everything is you again tom bell and linda creed the songwriters this is considered a soul masterpiece from 1972. Let me make sure everybody. Oh, I, I don't think I've showed you any vinyl completely. Look at that. From Avco Records. All songs written by Tom Bell and Linda Creed. Um, there's a wonderful guy on TikTok. His name is Chef Z. I think that's his TikTok name. And he kept singing this song. He's like a very, he's an old gentleman who's a great chef. Uh, and he keeps singing this song about, um, this is what makes the world go round, the ups and downs, the carousel. And I kept wondering, why is he singing that song? Woo, back cooking with Chef P and Bones. And the chef is in his test kitchen. And what I'm working on right now, family, is a soul food appetizer. Because this is what makes the world go round, the ups and downs, the carousel. Chef and Bones be changing things. So when I got this record, I began to hear those lyrics and I'm like, that sounds like what that chef is singing. When he shows his food, he always starts singing, this is what makes the world go round. The ups and downs. That song is beautiful. People make the world go round. It's been covered by two other fantastic artists. One is a saxophonist, a saxophonist. And it's a very long song. So the lead singer's voice fades away and all you hear is the music playing and they keep the vamp going with a, um, a guitar solo that's very sp sparse. Then a flute comes forward. I, it, man, it's just a classic. And the first song, Stop, Look, Listen to Your Heart, another great tune. This was very hard for me to find and I found it on Discogs, an awesome, condition mint condition i don't even think this was open if i'm not mistaken i was so glad to have gotten it it was it was a chunk of change believe me now let's talk about some gospel music this album comes from the pilgrim the pilgrim jubilee singers from 1977 when i was a little boy my mother had this 45 record and she always played it and the song on there was called my god is a good god and i hadn't heard that song since i was 10. and i looked online and found it i found out who sung it then i found out what record it came on and i went again to discogs and found it this was brand new it cost me a chunk of change, $45. It's worth it. And I brought the record home. I said, Mom, and she hadn't heard it since those days when I was a preteen. And I said, Mom, do you know who these are? She said, yeah, th I think those are the Pilgrim Jubilee Singers. Of course, she could see the, the title. I said, well, I'm going to play a song for you and see if you can remember it. And I start playing the song, My God is a Good God. And she said, oh, boy. I remember that song. It just brought back great memories for me and her and my dad and when we were all younger and they were giving me spankings because I would always pee on the toilet. <laughs> I'll tell you, music brings brings you back to a place. It, it just brings you back to memories that you never thought that you could remember again. But then you listen to a song and you're like, oh yeah, I was here when I was listening to that or I was feeling this way when I was listening to that or you know you know what all you know what I'm talking about but this is a great album the Pilgrim Jubilee singers now and forever now I want to pay 
a much respect to one of my favorite gospel singers of all time, um, or at least the second half. Um, if you're not familiar, I'm sure you are. Are you familiar with Andre Crouch? Well, he had a twin sister, and her name is Sandra Crouch. Now, um, Pastor Andre Crouch passed away, I believe, in 2015. But I learned recently that Sandra Crouch, his twin sister, his, um, his right-hand guide, her, his, his, um, his prayer warrior, the person who stu stood by his side for many years, she has passed away as well. And her, um, her funeral is coming up here in April. And her music, these two albums, completely life-changing for me. I remember listening to Andre Crouch and then finding out that she had released an album I think this was the first album I really re remember her releasing back in 85. Yeah, and um, the song that really stands out is Completely Yes, and it was the introduction of um, Tata Vega again for me on the song Tell Him Yes, when they start having the Holy Ghost, and Tata singing, yeah, yeah, you know, and it's just like one of the best the most best um, impromptu solos that just comes from nothing but but good good old time black church singing. You can't duplicate it. If you don't have it, you can't do it. But Tata Vega knew exactly what to do and took the song to the next level. This album did not receive a Grammy. A Grammy, I believe, it was nominated for one. But her first solo album called Sandra Crouch and Friends, which of course she directs the choir and, and she's singing a lot on here. Um, this won her a Grammy and this came out in 1983. What a glorious album this is too. One of the songs that stand out here is um, He's Worthy. So I wanna give much respect and love to Sandra Crouch and her family. What a blessing that she was and continues to be the music that she created, uh, the great music she helped to create with her brother. It was during this time period that they also worked on the Color Purple soundtrack together. So they have contributed a lot to the gospel music industry and I want to just give them their respect. Sandra Crouch, thank you for your wonderful songwriting abilities. And I remember talking to her uh, one day on the internet, and when her brother had passed, um, I asked her if she was going to make another gospel record. I think she made three, and the other one is not available on uh, vinyl. It's just a CD, but it's still just as wonderful. It's called With All My Heart, and I asked her if she was going to make another one, and she responded, and she says, yes, Tavis, I'm working on something, but I guess it, it never came to light. But it's amazing how all of our wonderful heroes, our musical heroes, are leaving us. Just something to think about. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you today. And as always, with music, with music, be inspired and stay inspired.